Finally, Jeff, I want to ask you some fun questions so that we can know more about who Jeff Smith is. So All right. Okay with you. All right. What's your favorite color? Uh, my favorite color is green. Favorite food? Uh, oh, I, I think my, my favorite food is uh, like a good curry. Nice. And last book you read? So the last book I read is called Scaling Leadership. Um, and it's, a, it's by Bob Anderson. And it's, it's an amazing book on uh, how your stages of human development impact the degree to which your leadership style will scale or not. It's incredible. Any good books you recommend for people to read besides that one? The other book that really, in the past year, that really uh, struck me was a book called Quiet, which is about um, working with introverts. And so I think for introverts, it's a good one to read to understand how they work and how they, how they could show up in, in different ways or whatever. And for extroverts like me, I think it was a really important book to read just to kind of go, ah, okay, I think I understand a little more now. <laughs> Thank you. And what do you do in your free time besides work and yoga? Um, I am involved in minor hockey a lot. I do, I've, I've always done a lot of volunteer stuff, so I've got like 20 years of board experience. Uh, past few years, I try to get more, less bored, more sort of like, you know, on the ice with kids, getting directly involved uh, in, in charities and stuff. So for me, it's, uh, yeah, minor hockey coaching uh, is a, is a huge part of my life right now as well. Great. What would you say to your 18 year old self? 18 year old self. Um, I think I would say to my 18 year old self, yeah, just try to find a balance between like living your life while also moving stuff forward. I think in some ways I've kind of done that. Um, I think now if I could go back to my 18 year old self, I, I could probably give that person a little more structure in terms of like how to go after things. I think, when you're 18, you just kind of go out to the world, you really have no plan. I think in some ways that served me, and in other ways, if I had known that that was okay, I might have had less pressure on myself along the way. So just kind of let things unfold, keep challenging yourself, keep putting yourself in situations where you don't completely know what, you're, what you need to do for the job you got or for whatever else. Any regrets? Hmm. You know, I don't really have uh, a lot of regrets. Uh, I'm trying to think. No, I think I'm good. I don't, I don't, there's nothing, I don't really have any material regret, which I guess is kind of good. That's good, yeah. And if you're given the chance to, do, to change something in your life, would you do it? I don't know. I think um, probably like what I was talking about there before, like just to, I'm a very driven person, so I'm always like um, – chasing the next thing. I think with yoga and other things you talked about here, it's like I've gotten better at like being in the moment. So if there's anything I would change, you know, I, I, I think I spent 41 years being super driven in the last four. I probably enjoyed things a little more because I've been more in the moment, more present while still being driven. I mean, that's not going to go away. So if there's anything I would change, I probably would have like, I would start doing yoga when I was 15. <laughs> that's good. Yeah. And with that, Jeff, my questions and my interviews, with you comes to an end. Again, thank you for taking the time to ask you those questions. I feel that's very, very beneficial and very good for the audience and for me. Thank you for that. And for the audience watching, um, if you like any of the questions that we ask, please like and share, subscribe to the channel, uh, reach out to our social networks. And if you have any other question, we'll be more than happy to uh, answer it to you. And tune in next time for another question, uh, for another great interview that I have for you. Again, Jeff, thank you. My pleasure. Thank you.